Darius Garland might have had the most interesting start to his NBA career, a start in which some NBA stars they rarely ever recover from and they unfortunately end up becoming draft busts. He quite possibly might have had one of the hardest roads to an NBA career and in this video we're going to talk about the long road Darius Garland took to get to the NBA and where he is now an NBA All-Star. Darius Garland was already a hot commodity going into Vanderbilt in his 2018-2019 season. He was one of the best recruits ever to sign with Vanderbilt. And his college career started off with a bang against Winthrop scoring 24 points. And then not too long after this, only a couple weeks later, he would score a season high 33 points, the second most by a freshman in school history. Unfortunately, that would be it for his college career because in a game against Kent State, he would suffer a knee injury during a layup and left the game early. It was then revealed that Darius Garland had suffered a meniscus injury that would keep him out for the rest of the season, and that would be the end of his career at Vanderbilt. Despite only playing five games in his college career, Darius Garland would still prep himself for the 2019 NBA Draft. I think this right here shows the dedication Darius Garland has to basketball. Some guys who suffer season and injuries might want to go back for another year and prove themselves worthy of a number one pick. Darius Garland said, screw it, I'm just going to go to the NBA early, number one pick or not. But as I said, Darius Garland would prep himself for the 2019 draft, and he would end up also leaving the combine early after he got a draft promise by a team. There was a rumor that a few teams gave him a draft promise. One was the Lakers, and the speculation kind of makes sense. His agent is Rich Paul, who is also LeBron James' agent. So maybe the connection there kind of led to him probably pairing him up with LeBron James. And another team that was speculated were the Phoenix Suns. None of that would matter, obviously, because with the fifth pick in the 2019 draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers would select Darius Garland. They took a huge risk on him despite only playing five games and also the injury he suffered in college. And let's just say Darius Garland's rookie year was one that was pretty rough for him. It was so rough to a point where he was called one of the worst players in the league at one point. He was dead last in win shares, value over replacement, and real plus minus minutes defensively. On top of that, with them already having Colin Sexton, a lot of people speculated, was this going to be another Cleveland draft bust? But as I forgot to mention, in his rookie year, he would average 12.3 points a game, 1.9 rebounds, and 3.9 assists. Honestly, I think one of the things that factored into Darius Garland not being too productive his rookie year was the fact that he only played five games in college, so it was kind of hard for him to, you know, ramp up to the NBA level, unlike some people do, like the other point guards did in the draft, like John Moran and a few other guys, even though John Moran and Darius Garland are on whole other levels, just making that comparison. In Darius Garland's second season, we will finally see glimpses of what he could do in the future as a playmaker. 17.4 points per game, 6.1 assists, and 2.4 rebounds. Forgot to mention that many people compared Darius Garland to Damian Lillard, and I'll go back to this later in the video. Right after the 2020 season, Darius Garland was one of the hottest picks to win Most Approved Player of the Year, and rightfully so. After, like I said, being the worst player in the league at one point, he was arguably playing his best basketball now. We were finally seeing how he can be a legitimate scorer and a leader for the Cavaliers. And so far this season, we have seen just that. He has averaged 19.8 points per game, 18.2 assists, and 3.3 rebounds. Those 18.2 assists put him at top 7 right now, which solidifies Darius Garland as one of the best playmakers in the NBA currently. Both these guys early on in the career were really good playmakers. Although Chris Paul's numbers are a little bit higher, they are enough to compare him in my opinion. And we all know Chris Paul is a really good scorer, and Darius Garland is a good scorer as well. And I think Darius Garland having guys like Evan Mobley, Jerry Allen, who can go up and catch lobs, have only helped this guy become an even better playmaker. And then on occasion, you also have Laurie Marketing and also Isaac Okoro. And he is not only making contributions as a playmaker and a scorer, he has also become a leader of his team. With Colin Sexton being out for the season, Darius Garland had to step up as that main guy for the team that Colin Sexton was for the most part. So far, his stats this season aren't 25 points per game like Colin Sexton was doing, but he's doing all right for the most part, and I could argue he's doing way more than Colin Sexton was doing. Colin Sexton wasn't known for being a playmaker. He was just a really explosive scorer, but was never known for his playmaking ability. However, Darius Garland can playmake and score. And for those of you still watching this, that is not a knock on Colin Sexton whatsoever. That also means that Darius Garland has a deadly floater for some reason, like... I've noticed a couple games this season where this guy's floats are just amazing. Maybe overreacting, but they're amazing. But yeah, for a guy who was called at one point the worst player in the league to a guy who is now an all-star in 2022, that's crazy. That is crazy. 
and I'm pretty sure some guys who were called the worst player in the league at one point would probably be never close to an all-star at this point in their career at all. But Darius Garland fought the long road, he fought through that long and hard road, and now he is an all-star, and he's a star in the making. He's getting attention from guys like Kyrie Irving, Stephen Curry, LeBron James about how good he's been, and you know he's a star once you become a guy who is getting recognized by guys like Curry and LeBron James. Congratulations, Darius Garland, for becoming an all-star. Truly deserved it, and I hope you're a Cavalier for years to come. I'm going to wrap the video up here. If you haven't yet, go ahead and like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Right on the money. Off the dribble, full court. Now, that's talent right there and strength in a 